exercise and cancer. So it's really exciting the, the research that has gone into exercise and cancer treatment for the last you know, 10 plus years has been incredibly exciting. It's been making the news recently. Once you find that it's on a more commercial TV channel, then we know we're making headway. So a lot of the research coming out, you can have a look at Rob Newton and Prue Cormy. They do fantastic work in this, in this area. How exercise helps is it helps to promote circulation. So if your circulation is improved, then the treatment that you're undergoing has a, a greater likelihood of reaching all of the tissues that you're trying to target. It's quite simple. Uh, and really effective. There was concern initially that it might be negating the benefit of the treatment, but not at all. It has a compound effect. So it can improve the effect of your cancer treatment by about 30%, which is huge. The biggest challenge is how do you include exercise when you feel like you've been hit by a truck? So there's nausea, there's, there's fatigue, there's all of these terrible side effects when you're undergoing cancer treatment. That anything you can do is positive. So you can do some exercises when you're sitting in the chair. This is the only time that I encourage people to exercise while sitting in a chair. The rest of you, get out of the chair. But if you feel that changing posture and it makes you feel dizzy and unsteady and nauseous, then absolutely anything you can do will have a positive impact on your cancer treatment. So we have lots of ideas, lots of ways that we can help to support you. We can do lots of things to help make sure you get the most out of it. We can give you a flexible plan so that you can choose what to do on the day depending on how you are. We find that people's uh, fatigue and those side effects fluctuate over the couple of weeks in between treatments as well. So we can help you uh, get in touch and we'd love to work out a plan.